father's a bad idea. Saying goodbye on the radio was the best thing to do. When I was seven, I wanted a dog in the worst way. But uh, my dad has always had allergies real bad. One day, he came home with a brand new puppy and a grin ear to ear. Even though my dad hates needles, he got a shot every week for 14 years and never said one word. Daryl, I'm half the person he is, and he loves me twice as much as I deserve. You're not gonna evacuate, are you? He's my dad. What would you do in my place? Oh, are you looking for the evacuation point? We came up here to try and find our daughters, Amy and Andrea, but my wife... Well, you need to talk to Aiden. He's in charge of signaling the evac choppers. Know where the guy is? He and his wife live in the house across the way, but I don't know if he's there. Oh yes, there's a pharmacy in the shopping center. Can you please bring something to ease my wife's suffering? Did Aiden send you? No. I'm looking for him, though. You need to find my husband, Aiden, so he can signal the helicopters and we can all get out of here. He went to the mechanic shop. Nothing's ever easy.
There's only one evac chop. So how do I get out of here? Okay, all right. You need to get a bag I dropped in the mechanic shop. It has smoke pots to signal the FEMA choppers. These things? Yeah, okay. You go back. Get my wife and Harrison. Once we light those smokers, we have 90 seconds to pick up. I'll update you on the radio. Let's light them up then. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You don't bring them back. You're not getting on. Come on, go. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought there would be more time. I love you. I will find the girls. I promise you that. Can we save Jane and her unborn child? She's gone. So are the choppers. I see. The last evacuation site is Atlanta. My girls will be there. It's Atlanta, then. <laughs> 